welcome to The Gavel. I'm Linda Kibi. Now, in the last three weeks, various ministries, departments and agencies have been on a pilgrimage to the National Assembly to perform the yearly ritual of defending their budgets. They have to first of all show lawmakers the budget performance of the previous year and then justify the budget proposals for this year. Now, it was not smooth sailing for some government officials who came to defend their budgets as they had some contentious issues which committee members wanted resolved. In the last three weeks, officials of ministries, departments and agencies have been coming to the National Assembly to defend their budgets. The Minister of Communications and officials of the ministry appeared before the House Committee on Communications to defend the 2017 budget. Lawmakers began by looking at the ministry's performance with regard to the 2016 budget. The lawmakers were, however, displeased with the responses received and took this position. To be expecting all the documents by end of work on Monday, so we'll now communicate to you when we go on an oversight, when to come back for your 2017, because the committee, the budget effect, because the committee are not, they are not happy what presented, and so we are looking forward by Monday to have all the documents, as I said, all the documents, and the Secretariat will obviously furnish you with what the committee needs for you to bring on Monday. Another agency that suffered a similar fate is the National Health Insurance Scheme. Appearing before the House Committee on Health Services, the agency was not allowed to make its presentation. Based on 2016, 2015, and to really arrive at what critically is happening in terms of the status of that uh, organization. Uh, to that extent, the Le National Health Insurance never gave respect, one, that there exists based on the creation of the law. A committee headed by the deputy chairman of this committee was denied access to information. Letters were written straight to the agency. They were denied. They were not respected. Budget of 2016 of the agency was not provided to this honorable house in terms of the IGR. They flawed the law. The Minister of State for Petroleum and officials of the Ministry of Petroleum Resources also appeared before the House Committee on Petroleum Upstream for the 2017 budget defense session. The minister outlined the achievement of the ministry in 2016 and made some projections for 2017. There was struggle, of course, in 2016, like you know, a lot of militancy issues. Um, uh, per barrel drop uh, all the way down to about 1.2 million barrels. Uh, we were able to push that uh, consistently upwards, uh, despite uh, critical hits in Forcados and a few other areas. Um, and um, we have been able so far, at least by the end of uh, December, to get a production up to about 1.8 million barrels, and today about 2 million barrels. The Chief of Army Staff and officers of the Nigerian Army were also guests at the National Assembly to defend the Army's 2017 budget proposal of 152.8 billion naira. The Chief of Army Staff spoke on their work in the North East. The North East does not uh, remain only with the operational uh, aspects, but we also get ourselves involved as part of the programs for winning the hearts and minds of the populace. We need their support to be able to uh, get more knowledge and information about the activities of the Boko Haram terrorists who are widespread in the uh, terror uh, in, the, in, in the region. The Senate was also a beehive of activities during the week, receiving various government officials who also came to defend their budgets. Officials of the Federal Road Maintenance Agency, FIRMA, appeared before the Magnus Abilet Committee to defend their budget. They tender for projects, you give them a award letter, the way to the mobilization is paid before they go to the, 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 go to site. But that's not when they were tendering for this project, that, that, that was not what we were made to understand. Because if you, mobilization is just to assist, assist them. But many of them wait for mobilization before they 
We go to Why would it take so long for you to give somebody mobilization? Uh, you know, some of them have difficulties in giving us a performance uh, uh, bond, APD, from banks. Their banks were unwilling maybe to give them more. So we had that problem. What you said, I don't have any IPCs outstanding. That's not correct. I have people who have sent me text messages of debts that they are being owed by, by FEMA. So there's no way that can be correct information if contracts were awarded since November that last year, and then up till now, nobody has been able to access anything or raise an IPC then. It means that the whole contract process was a failure because it achieved nothing for the Nigerian people. As budget defense sessions have been going on and will still continue in the coming week, the National Assembly organized some public hearings during the week. Now, for the first time, the National Assembly organized a public hearing on the national budget. The parliament invited members of several civil society organizations, interest groups, government ministries, departments and agencies to get their views on the 2017 budget. Parliament says it intends to use this forum to collate views and opinions that will make sure that the 2017 budget is one that meets the challenges confronting the country. This is a public hearing organized by an ad hoc committee of the House of Representatives. The hearing is focused on the process of the digital broadcast switch over and the possibility of achieving the June 2017 deadline. Present at the event is 